What's up, the John Squad? This is John Pillion here, your YouTube world heritage champion here on YouTube. And I'm coming to my WWE SmackDown review for September 17, 2019. So let's do this, shall we, John Squad? So we kicked out WWE SmackDown Live with a six man tag team match, The New Day. Versus the revival and Randy Orton, and by the way, there are pancakes thrown out into the crowd. So the winner of this match was the New Day. But then after the match, this is a shocking moment that we had right here. Was Brock Lesnar and Paul Heyman both come out after the match, and Paul Heyman tells Kobe that that he that he stands in the way of the title that he has and. And that, and that this is a bad day for the New Day. So Brock Lesnar challenges Kofi on October 4th for the WWE Championship on Fox for the WWE Championship. So then Kofi Kingston accepts the challenge and then Kofi Kingston gets an F5 by Brock Lesnar to end the segment. So then we had a sit-down interview with Eric Rowan and, and Michael Cole and... Michael Cole asked Eric Rowan some questions about Luke Harper's return, and Eric Rowan said that he tried to attack Roman was to scare him, and he had been dis d d d d disrespected, and and he has been disrespected. That's basically what Eric Rowan tells Michael Cole. He has been disrespected, and and a follower and talks about Daniel Bryan and basically that's what the whole segment was about. So then the second match we had on SmackDown was Ali versus Shinsuke Nakamura, but this match does not happen at all because Yami Zayn was talking to Ali and out from behind comes in a blatant and behind attack from Shinsuke Nakamura and and then Shinsuke Nakamura just destroys Ali and delivers a Kinsasha onto Ali. And that's what happens to the segment. So then we had Shaman Man comes out after he was served by Kevin Owens. So Shaman Man talks to Kevin Owens, who got served by Kevin Owens. So he so he lets him in, comes into the ring after Kevin Owens is sitting into the crowd with the fans. So he lets him come into the ring and Kevin Owens talks to Shane Man that he ruined that he ruined SmackDown and and he talks to to Shane Man about last week that when he lost to Chad Gable that he tapped out and all the crowd is going like this you tapped out you tapped out all the crowd is doing that so then um, what happens next is that um like when he wins this fight after after when he wins this fight in court is that Kevin Owens tells Shane Man that he can't wait to say these words to him that Shane Man you're fired that's when he can't wait to say that so then the third match we had on SmackDown was Sasha Banks versus Charlotte Flair and the winner was Charlotte Flair by disqualification. Due to Bailey coming into the ring and attacking Charlotte Flair after she was about to make Sasha Banks tap out, but then all of a sudden is next that Carmelo come comes out and 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 attacks and, and attacks Bailey and Sasha Banks and makes the save and saves Charlotte Flair after Sasha Banks and Bailey were beating down on Charlotte Flair. Carmelo comes out and makes a save. So then this leads to um. So, so then Char Char Charlotte Flair and Carmilla stand tall. So then we had a Baron Corbin coronation for the King of the Ring and you know for his for winning the King of the Ring and Corbin talks about that most of us did not want to see him win the King of the Ring tournament and become king. So then um what happens next is that uh, he calls out Chad Gable. So then, because he he wants to honor him for for doing a great job in the match between the two, so he calls out Chad Gable, and Chad Gable comes on out. And what happens next is that uh, Chad Gable comes on out, and Baron Corbin just makes fun of him for losing the match because he came up short. So then, what happens next is that uh, so Chad Gable had enough of Baron Corbin and. 
he blatantly just destroys King King Corbin's stuff. He destroys the crown. He destroys the spear. He destroys everything. The 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 thing that goes on the back of the the um the king's um what's it called? I don't even know what that thing's called. The the robe, he destroys that, that's what Chad Gable does, and then he stomps on the crown and destroys that, and Corey Graves is so funny on commentary, he had me laughing too, you know, so Corey Graves had me laughing hysterical, that's what the funny part was, so Corey Graves was like all upset about it and had to have me laughing on commentary, Corey Graves, stay classy Corey Graves, he just had me laughing, so then, another match we had on SmackDown was Heavy Machinery versus the B Team, and the winner was Heavy Machinery. Machinery, and of course I knew Heavy Machinery was going to win that because the B team are just jobbers, you know what I mean? So then the final part we had on SmackDown was Daniel Bryan, and he talks about that that he, he never tells a lie, and and that he talks about and he, he he talks about Eric Rowan and how and how he saw Eric Rowan and how he saw Eric Rowan how he and how he how and how ah a tongue twister how he saw something special in him and how how he was and how he was you know and how he was um and how he was treated and how they were both equally and how he is still his friend and because he helped and how he helped them his friend so then Rowan comes out and talks to Daniel Bryan about who will never let who talk, you know, who, that's what he talks about. He talks to Daniel Bryan, basically. He talks to Daniel Bryan about who will never let who talk about that he will not be disrespected. So then Bryan tells him to do something. Then next thing you know is that Luke Harper comes out from behind and just blam blind size attacks Daniel Bryan from behind and and then Roman Reigns comes out to make the save and then delivers a Superman punch onto Eric Rowan then next thing you know is that all else fails for Roman Reigns because next thing you know is that um um next thing you know is that um Luke Harper and Eric Rowan work together to take out Roman Reigns and pick him up and throw him into the post. Then, then Eric Rowan and Luke Harper are destroying the ringside area. They're destroying that, and then they're destroying the. And then they're destroying the timekeepers area, and then they hit Roman Reigns with that, and then. And then they destroy the bear can't hit Roman Reigns with that. And then next thing you know is that they destroy the announce table and they put down Brian right through the announce table to end WWE SmackDown last night. And I was surprised by how the way all things like that ended last night with Eric Rowan and Luke Harper. So I could probably see this at Hell in a Cell. We could probably be seeing this at Hell in a Cell. We could probably see Daniel Bryan and Roman Reigns team up together against Luke Harper and Eric Rowan. That's my prediction right there. Boom. Got it right on the dot. So, once again, the John Squad. Please like this video. Leave your comments down below. And subscribe for more. You're all the best, John Squad. You're a one of a kind. I love each and every single one of you all. Don't forget to tap that bell on YouTube so you never miss up on all my videos. I hope you enjoy this little SmackDown review. And subscribe for more. You're all the best, John Squad. You're all one of a kind. I love each and every single one of you all. Don't forget to slap a like on this video if you love my review. And subscribe for more more. Kind of a bad for Kofi King saying to October 4th. You know he's probably going to win that one, of course. Brock Lesnar. You know Brock Lesnar's going to win. You know? It is what it is. But anyway, peace out the John Squad.